Okay, so the given problem is 3 raised to the power of x plus x equals 30. So we need to find the value of x. Okay, um, so let's look at solution to this. Now, this is 3 raised to the power of x plus x equals 30. This can be written as 3 to the power of x equals 30 minus x. Okay. So the next thing to do here is to divide both sides by 3 raised to the power of x. Okay, by implication, you left it 1 here, and this is 30 minus x over 3 to the power of x. Okay, and again, what you have here can be written as 30 minus x over what? 3 to the power of x equals 1. Okay, and again, uh, this can be written as 30 minus x in bracket times 1 over 3 raised to the power of x equals 1. Okay, and don't forget when you have uh, 1 over b, this can be written as b to the power of minus 1. So likewise, if you have 1 over b raised to the power of n, this can be written as b raised to the power of minus n. So then you have 3 raised to the power of 3, 30 minus x times. 1 over 3 raised to the power of x can be written as 3 raised to the power of minus x equals 1. Okay, so let's expand the brackets here. So you have, before we expand the bracket, multiply both sides by 30. Okay, multiply both sides by 3 raised to the power of 30. Yes, so this is 30 minus x times 3 raised to the power of minus x times 3 raised to the power of 30. Then 3 raised to the power of 30 times 1. Okay, so this is 30 minus x times 3 raised to the power of minus x plus 30. Okay, and this is 3 raised to the power of, sorry, this should be 30. This is 30, and this is 30. Okay, so from here you have 30 minus x times 3 raised to the power of minus x plus 30 can be written as 30 minus x as well. So which is 3 raised to the power of 30. Okay. So let me rewrite this in better way, which is 3 raised to the power of 30 minus x. Then 30 minus x equals 3 raised to the power of 30. So from here, what? Now when you have, uh, if you have 3, do you know this can be written as exponential length 3? Because exponential we cancel then then if you have length exponential, that will give you 1 as well. So for something like this now, this will definitely give us 3. Now, that is what I'm going to introduce here. I want to rewrite this in terms of exponential and length. So for that reason, we have this to be exponential length 3 raised to the power of length 3, then 30 minus x. Okay? So 30 minus x. Now multiplied by 30 minus x, then you have 3 raised to the power of 30. Okay? Now, and again, the all of this function can be written as 30 minus, sorry, exponential 30 minus x, then then 3 times that 30 minus x equals 3 raised to the power of 30. So this is very straightforward to get. One of the rule of lens, lane rather is when you have lin x raised to the power of a, this can be written as a lin x. So that is what I actually applied here. Okay. Now, so we've gotten this already. So what is now the next thing to do now? So when you look at the power of exponential, we have 30 minus x lin 3 and I have 30 minus x here. So I want to have the same function here as the same as this okay i want the functions to be the same so for that reason i must have length 3 here and for you to have length 3 here we need to multiply both sides by length 3 okay so we now have exponential length exponential then 30 minus x length 3 times 30 minus x length 3 then this is 3 times 3 raised to the power of 30 times length 3 Okay. Now, why are we doing this? I want to introduce Lambert's W function. Okay. I want to introduce Lambert's W function. So, when you introduce Lambert's W function, now this is W of e raised to the power of 
30 minus x then 3 then 30 minus x then 3 so, so this is lambda w function of 3 is power of 30 then then 3 so what is the application of lambert w function for lambert w function it is given as this to be this if you have a w of lambert w function of psi then exponential psi we have if you have lambda exponential lambda let me use this this will give us lambda so this is for this w is lambert w function so and that's what we are going to have here so whatever you have as the exponential as a function of power of exponential you must have it here and the lambert function of that will give us what lambda this can be any function okay so now what we are trying to do here is that you can see the power of exponential here this is 30 minus x length 3 and we have 30 minus x length 3 so when you apply lambert's w function now this the whole of this expression will give us uh 30 minus x then length 3 okay so now we have lambert w function of 3 is power of 30 then lin uh lin 3 okay so uh, now we cannot apply this one yet because it is not in terms of lambert w function so for that to be written as that, we need to rewrite this in terms of lambda w function. So I mean the expression we have at the right hand side, which is 3 raised to the power of 30 and 3. Okay. So now to do that, let's just rewrite this as 30 minus x to the 3 and lambda w function of 3 raised to the power of 30 can be written as 3 raised to the power of 3 times 3 raised to the power of 27, then then 3. I'm sure you know that indices by the time you add this power together you definitely have 30 okay so now from here you have 30 minus x mean 3 equals uh lambda w function uh this is 3 raised to the power of 3 that's 27 times so this 3 raised to the power of 27 can be written as exponential in 3 all to the power of 27 i'm sure we know that i've explained something like that before then we have length 3 because exponential length is 1 so 3 is power of 27 you still have this back okay so now you have 30 minus x length 3 equals lambda w function this is 27 then exponential 27 length 3 okay and you have your length 3 here okay so this is 30 minus x length 3 is equals to lambda w function 27 then lin 3 a then exponential 27 lin 3 okay you can see this is in terms of lambda w function now where the power of exponential is 27 lin 3 and that is exactly what you have here as well so by the time you apply the lambda w function now there so that means the whole of this expression will now be what 27 lin 3 okay so from here this length 3 we cancel length 3 and now you left it to what 30 minus x is equals to what 27 okay is equals to 27 and from here you have uh x equals x equals 30 minus 27 and x is equals to what x is equals to 3 so that is the solution to the given equation so we can easily check that uh, by substituting the value of x we obtain here in the given equation where you have 3 raised to the power of x plus x so we've gotten x to be 3 so when x is 3 you have 3 raised to the power of 3 plus 3 this is 27 plus 3 and you eventually have what 30. so if you are just joining us for the first time kindly click on the subscription bell so that you'll be notified whenever i release a new video and don't forget to like and comment thank you